Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a program called Loot to sort your plugin load order for Skyrim Special Edition. And also, I'm going to be showing you how to sort your master load order in the new Creation Kit. So what we're going to need to do is go ahead and grab ourselves a few programs first. So we're going to need Loot first of all. And we're also going to need the Nexus Mod Manager, as Mod Organizer at the time of this video does not seem to support Skyrim Special Edition correctly. Although, as I understand, there are ways to get around it, but I'm not going to go into that. So Nexus Mod Manager is the best way to do this until the new manager comes along from the Skyrim Nexus. We're also going to need to go ahead and download SSE Edit if we need to make changes to an already existing mod that you have your masters in the wrong order with. So you're going to need that. And if loot doesn't go ahead and order your master files, which is happening in my case, then you're going to need a backup and we're going to need to go ahead and use smart timestamp. So first of all, we're going to download loot. We're going to go under the files section, hit download on that one. Then we're going to grab the Nexus mod manager. Download that manually and select downloads. SSE edit files dead simple just download them all and then smart timestamp we'll need this one here just check that all those are downloading just wait for them to complete okay so when you've gone ahead and downloaded those you're going to need to extract loot from its zip folder i'm using 7zip myself and i'm going to first of all install loot so run the installer English, OK. And when it comes to where to install it, I would not recommend placing in its default location. I'm going to be using this for Skyrim Special Edition, so I'm going to make my way to my main directory for that game. In my case, it's under Game, so it's wherever your Steam games are installed. Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and go down to Special Edition. Now, if you've installed the new creation kit, you will notice that there is a new folder that was not present in the old version that has been created just to keep things like the archive and such sorted neatly. Now, I've already gone ahead and got a number of programs in here as well. And I recommend that you place all of your mod managing programs in here. So I'm going to place it into tools. It's nice and organized. Best place to put it. And as you can see, it should automatically go ahead and create a loop folder for it. Hit next not going to have a desktop shortcut and this might go ahead and download a few additional files let it go ahead and do so shouldn't take too long should be mere seconds and I'm not going to launch loot just yet so this process you can skip if you already have Nexus mod manager installed but do go ahead and make sure now that you have the latest version although like I say this is going to get replaced with a completely new manager shortly anyway so I'm going to go ahead and install this Except terms and conditions you never read. And get to the install process again. I'm going to place this into tools also. It's just going to make it much, much easier to work with things. So games, Steam library, Steam apps, common, special edition again. And under the tools section, hit next, next again. Not going to have a shortcut. And install that. Again, that should take mere seconds. Next, not going to launch that just yet either. And loot is supposed to organize your master files. So if I just go ahead and load the new creation kit, I'll show you what the problem is and why you need to do it. So when you go to load your master files, you will see that it has Skyrim, Update, Dawnguard, Dragonborn and Hearthfire. This is an incorrect order because Bethesda still haven't bothered to go ahead and fix this up since the last version of the kit where it's going off the last modified date rather than the order they're supposed to be in. Now this is not going to cause a problem in most cases. Your mod's still going to work, it's going to load, it's not going to have any problems with other ones. But certain programs are going to flag this up as an error if these are in the wrong order. And your ESP is going to save the order that they were in when it was last saved. So that's why we'll need Xedit to change that. However, if you are creating a new mod, then just make sure you go ahead and check that these are okay. And also, if you have an update to the creation kit or the game, you might find that the ESM files get messed around with and they end up being reordered. So just check this every now and then. But like I say, we've got Xedit 
backing us up if we do have this change on us and we don't realize so you can sort your masters with existing esps so to get these reordered you can of course go ahead and use loot which i'm about to show you and you can also run loot through the nexus mod manager which is why we downloaded it if you're running your mods through there and in my experience at the moment, the new version of Loot does not like to change these for special edition. It says that it's done it and it, it doesn't seem to want to redate the plugins for me. But I'm going to show you how to do that anyway because for most people it's probably going to work. And if it doesn't, we've got timestamp as a backup. So that's why we went ahead and downloaded that. So we're going to get these reordered. Now before you do that, you want to go ahead and make sure that the creation kit is closed. And I'm going to go ahead and run loot. So my desktop's got a shortcut to the data folder for SE. Then I can back up one to the main directory. I'm going to go under tools where I installed loot. And I'm going to run it. Of course you can put a shortcut on your desktop if you want through installation. Or afterwards put it on your taskbar or something. And as you can see here it's listing all the ESPs and such. But it's currently showing me my legendary Skyrim. So I'm going to select special edition. Now, if everything's in place and the program's happy, it should easily auto-detect your various games that you have. I don't have any of the others installed. I've just got Skyrim and Special Edition. So I'm going to select Special Edition in this case. Give that a few seconds to sort itself out. And you'll see that it lists the ESMs and ESPs. Now, what you need to do is, first of all, sort out your load order. So you want to go ahead and hit this button here, Sort Plugins. That will update the master list. And then it should sort them out. Everything should get rearranged. And then up here, top right, this is what's supposed to sort your ESMs. But in my case, for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to want to do it. But you'll redate plugins. And it will warn you that the special edition mods that you download off the workshop, which I imagine a lot of people at this point in time are doing, they will most likely get wiped and they might need to re-download. So don't worry about that. Just redate. Make sure everything's there when you go to load your save later on and it says successfully done. So I'm going to go ahead and close this now and I'm going to reload the new creation kit and I'm just going to check that out. Now like I said as you can see for me it hasn't done it I'm not sure why maybe I'm doing something wrong but I'm pretty sure that's how it's done it worked on the old version for me but this is where you can instead use timestamp if you need to to redate your plugins. So I'm going to close the creation kit, shut that off. So I'm going to go ahead and install timestamp. So it downloads, smart timestamp, unzip this folder, and then run the installer. Hit next, agree to the terms and conditions you never read. And I'm going to change this to the tool section. Uh, special edition is pretty much all I'm going to use this for anyway. So I'm going to navigate through and go along. Special edition tools. And this will not do what the other two programs did during installation. It won't create its own folder, so we're going to have to sort of name our own. There we go. And hit next, next, let do its thing, close, shut that down, and then make our way to our tools folder. Tools and smart timestamp and run the exe. So here we go. Now we want to navigate to our main directory and data folder so G Steam library Steam apps common go down special edition again and this time the data folder and you'll see you've got your Dawnguard ESM Dragonborn ESM and Hearthfire and they're in the wrong order so I'm going to click Dawnguard creation date is going to be 7 Modified date the 7th. So I'm just going back so many days and then I'm going to have them put into a sort of order. So Dawn Guard set tight and time. So it's done it successfully. Untick that. Then we want to do Hearthfire. And I'm going to set this for a day later. Set time and date. And then I'm going to do Dragon Ball. And I'm going to set this for a day later than that. And that should do it. So now if we load up the creation kit. These should be in the right order. So we've got Skyrim, Update, Dawnguard, Hearthfires and Dragonborn ESM. All in the right order. 
and that's what we want. Close that off. So before I go ahead and show you how to check that your mod has its masters sorted via SSE edit, I am first of all going to show you how to do the loot method through Nexus Mod Manager and how to also sort your load order through there. So for that we're going to need to go to Special Edition and Tools and we're going to need to go ahead and run Nexus Mod Manager. You're probably going to want to go ahead and have a shortcut on your desktop or wherever but I'm not really planning on using this. And this should, if you haven't installed this already, go ahead, scan for your games. Once it's found the two you need, just give them a tick. And I can stop it from searching. It's not going to find any more. And then quick start up. And I'm going to tell it to point at Skyrim Special Edition. Don't ask me again. Need to set up paths. Now this should automatically detect everywhere that it needs to go. So it's going to put mods into Skyrim SE. Uh, games you can change this I'm just gonna leave it because I'm not too fussed about this but you can change the directories where it's gonna keep things games Nexus mod manager that seems fine for me to have its own folder on my games drive so I'm quite happy with that I'm gonna hit finish and let it load up and do its thing so there we go let's open that up go to plugins you'll see there we go again we've still got these ordered nicely now it's all all good all running it's detected my new version of riverside shack i'm working on and my merchants of skyrim special edition version it's seen those and you can go ahead use nexus mod manager order stuff up but if you need to run a tool through here it should auto detect and you will see it has launch loot it will find other ones as well as long as they're in reasonable locations so like i said keeping things in that tools folder is pretty handy and you can launch loot through here. So if you've gone ahead and headed to the Nexus and you've downloaded various ESPs and run them through the mod manager and installed them through here, it's then going to load the ESPs in here and let you change them. And again, just make sure that you're selecting the game that you need and making the changes that you need to make. Now for the final part of this tutorial video, we want to go ahead and use SSE Edit to sort masters for an existing ESP that we have that might be out of date. Now for this part of the tutorial I don't actually have an ESP that's got the masters in the wrong order but I can still show you the process that you would take and explain to you what you can expect to see afterwards. So I've gone to my downloads, I'm going to extract SSE Edit if you don't already have it installed. Now you don't really have to have an installation process like the others here, it's pretty much just drag and drop wherever you want on your machine and run the executable. So you might have noticed earlier on I already have this installed on my machine in my tools section with all those tools I showed you earlier on. So if we go to tools, I've named my folder nicely, I've got SSC edit, the latest version, well might not be actually, it might have had an update by now, but the time of this video anyway. So we will run the executable from here. And if all is well, it will auto detect your special edition and it's got my ESP for Riverside Shack and Merchants of Skyrim there. Now those don't use all of the ESMs, so you know this isn't going to make too much difference. But what you would do is load your ESP up in here. Give that some time to load up. And it should say at the bottom here any second now that it's finished. So background loader finished. And it's usually good practice just to apply the filter for cleaning, but you don't really need to. I'm going to do that anyway. So I'm going to give that a few seconds. And then I'm going to alt click on it. And all you need to do is hit sort masters. Now, like I said, this isn't going to do much for me. Give it a few seconds. And what you'll see if you have incorrect master order on your ESP, it is probably going to highlight a bunch of things in sort of a bold black font. And then all you need to do is let it save it. You can go ahead and close it. Now, because there'll be changes made, which there wasn't on my ESP, it'll come up with a little box asking if you want to make a backup. You want to go ahead and do so. Although before you make any changes to ESPs, I usually don't really entirely trust the SSE edit backup system. I always make a backup myself manually. And I can say the same for a lot of programs that I use. I usually do that anyway. So make sure you keep a backup of your ESP before you do any changes. And that's how you sort your masters. And if you want to make a quick check that that has worked, again, I'm not going to be able to directly show you here, but you'll load up your creation kit and then you will hover over your ESP, you will click on it and in the parent masters, you will see the order as correct 
in the parent master section here. So it would have Skyrim update, and then let's say you're using all of them, it have Dawnguard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn. They should be in the correct order. And you can just check on your various CSPs. Again, I don't have one using them all, but make sure that they are listing them in the right order, and you should be good to go. And that is it for another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video, so I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section below. And please feel free to share your methods of doing things, as they may well be very different to mine, or you might have solutions for one or two things that I had not considered. It's fantastic when people help out in the comments section, I really do appreciate it. So you can also go ahead and check out the rest of my work over on my website at www.darkfox127.co.uk and also feel free to come along and join us on Discord. We've got a lot of mod talk going on. You can share your own mods and even get help with a few things from the rest of the community. So we've got a really good thing going on over there. So be sure to go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.